The kids know when they come here that they're going to be bowling on a tough pattern. There's not too many programs out there that test them the way we do. There's so great competition out here. It's really incredible. My game has elevated a lot from the time that I started to now. They've produced one Junior Team USA member every year. Clearly what they're doing here is working. <laughs> when I first started, I was like a 120 average bowler, and now I'm about 230. I, I just really like the atmosphere, honestly, and like there's no other competition like it around. And it offers like a wide variety. We're not just going to like the same house like some places go. We travel all across the state and get a good variety in. It's expanded my arsenal, what tricks I can use, and how to play the lanes. It gives me like a really good way to practice my versatility and how to cover the whole lane whenever I need to. I bowl for the competition and experience. My plan is to bowl a lot more tournaments when I'm older, PBA stuff even. Being able to have a competitive environment with a lot of my great peers really keeps me motivated to get better every day. The reason why I bowl in MJMA tournaments is be able to see where my level is at and give me a reason to keep pushing, to keep succeeding in what I want to do. MJMA has improved my game extremely. From going to junior gold, being fourth in the nation in the U15 division, it's really helped me understand the lane conditions and my ball choices. There's a lot of competition, a lot of great bowlers. It's just a very good learning experience for everybody to come out and try to go to the next level. MJ made tournaments are incredibly hard. That's, yeah, for sure. They can be really hard, like pretty hard. <laughs> Depends on how you're doing that day. They are by far the hardest tournaments I I bowl. They are harder than junior gold. Even, I don't even know, maybe team trials. They might be harder. These aren't meant to be easy. Like a top 10, I'd say, tournament in the country if you're really trying to go to the next level. The patterns are so different tournament in, tournament out. And they don't tell you the pattern either. And that makes it even harder. For the kids that are coming out of the high schools, maybe you're a senior in high school, this is going to prepare you for college. You're going to see these types of patterns. You're going to see these harder shots, if not harder, when you get to the college level and this is just gonna prepare you for that. It's only going to make you better. We challenge the kids and we make no excuses for it. We as an organization look at it as it's a training ground. Two years ago, one of our, one of the ex-MGMA players was PBA Player of the Year in Andrew Anderson. Between 30 and 35 girls right now bowling at NCAA College Sport Bowling on full rides. And these girls are getting that opportunity because they've been here, they've been scouted, and they've learned, how to, they've learned how to bowl the right way. We don't make it easy, but the kids who are here are the ones that really want to learn and really want to grow within the sport. The exposure that you're going to gain, not only from what we post on the website, because a lot of college, college coaches look at our website after every tournament, and then the college coaches actually being here. And our joint sponsorships with, through Brunswick and Turbo and EFX help that exposure as well. If your son or daughter is looking to go to that next level, this is the place you should really be.